Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Deidre if you're new and if you're not new then welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a cleanse with me, clean my room with me. Um, I just woke up so this is me in the moment. This week has been really shit for me. And I understand like me many of us have bad days and sometimes we just feel like our energy is off. I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I deal with stressful weeks, stressful days. And I think the best way to start changing up how you feel is by changing your space it's very important to have a clean space so you can think properly or at least that's how i feel when um i'm just not in the best mood and my room's not really looking really the best again just like in my vlog if you haven't watched it um june vlog part two I had a really shitty week and my room was a absolute mess. So yeah, I just wanted to come in here and show you guys kind of how I spruce my room up. Uh, and then what I do to kind of make sure my energy is where it needs to be. So that way when I start the new week, I start my day the way I want to start it. Which is on a good note, feeling good when I wake up and not having any type of stress or anxiety to start my day. I find that when your space is cluttered, your mind is cluttered and it makes it harder for you to focus and go about your day. And I think it's also important to cleanse your room on the regular in terms of energy and being able to get rid of any whether it's negative energy that you feel within yourself or in your space or just any weird energy that you've been feeling as of late. So in this video, I'll just be showing you how I spruce up my room, how I clean things down so that when I'm ready to start my day or the next morning or whatever day of the week it is, I feel good about my space, I feel good about myself, and I feel like I can relax properly in a way that's going to help me have a healthier start to my day. If this is something you're interested in, then stay tuned. I hope this motivates you to get up and start cleaning your room as well and getting a good start to your week but without further ado let's get straight into the video so to start i'm just going to show you what my room is looking like now just so you guys have a before and after of where we started and where we ended i have shit all over the place <laughs> um yeah so my bed sheets could use a washing i sleep with multiple blankets I already washed one sheet, um, but my bed's not made. I have stuff in my closet, and I just want to give you guys a rundown of kind of where I'm at when I need to clean up my space. And then once we're done, we can do an after on how the room looks. So I'm just going to give you guys a look around. I have this little section here full of my items. I need to clean um, this up. This is where I keep all my um, pointed toe clips and stuff my self-help books this is just like i don't know just like you know a little knickknacks to make my room look cute in terms of decor but i could spruce this up a little bit and probably get rid of that plant because it's starting to die then on my dresser i am currently on my period which doesn't help so i have period wrappers i have um the tampon box open extension hair socks that i haven't um put together I just have a bunch of random shit that just doesn't need to be here, like this empty water bottle, bubbles my mom gave me, a red solo cup with water in it. Um, and then I have my office space here that has three undrinking water bottles that's just been sitting here in my speaker, a random notebook, um, all work equipment. And then my chairs full of clothes, um, and apparently my pads, a deodorant. My nightstand's not looking too bad. Um, it's just my leave, of course, because like I said, I'm on my period. And then I'm going to get rid of these flowers and probably get some new ones. As you can see, they are dying. So, and then moving on to my bed. Um, I typically make my bed in the mornings, and I have a towel on it right now. I don't have any clean sheets other than this duvet and its insert so I won't be washing this um, but I'll be washing my sheets underneath and then the pillows associated with them and then if we look at the floor I have a clean pile that is not folded and a clean pile that is folded because I started to reorganize my closet and then of course I have my Swiffer that does not belong there, it belongs in the closet that's just been sitting there for about a week. And then my camera bag that doesn't belong on my clothing rack. So just clothes to put away that's in my way when I'm walking around. Um, there's me with no pants on. And then my closet 
isn't so bad, but I have a hanger there, you know. I need to put away my shoes or find a space for my shoes since my shoe rack is all filled up. If you want to know where I got the shoe rack, it's in my vlog. Um, and then I'll just make this look prettier. I kind of have everything folded here for the most part. This isn't so bad. Um, I maybe need to fix up here a little bit. But for the most part, the closet is not looking horrible. So, needless to say, I definitely have some work to do in my room in terms of getting rid of knickknacks and all that type of stuff. Um, and I guess we're just going to get into it now. I'm going to start with my bed sheets. I want to take them off of the bed because I hate waiting last for my bed sheets to be washed. So, I'm just going to show you guys taking them off and then we'll move from there. Real it is, I got the bag, tell a friend, she got some ass, bring it in, bitch I'm the new CNN, yeah, real it is, I got the bag, tell a friend, she got some ass, bring it in, bitch I'm the new CNN, yeah, trippin', really got the TikTok missing. this pimpin', broke niggas got me livin', you Jordan a pippin', I'm Kobe, I'm never gon' dish it, I'm missin', I'm dissing this fuck and I ain't got the time to just kick it Why well, won't trust nobody cause I can't be fake Frontin' ain't an option cause my soul can't change And I'm tired of being humble, bitch, I feel no way It's that young nigga shit, I might pull up to your bitch Like, really then, I got the bag, tell a friend She got some ass, bring it in, bitch, I'm the new CNN Yeah, really then, I got the bag, tell a friend just saw me sweeping and stuff when I sweep I used to dustpan everything away but I have this little vacuum it's a dirt devil uh, dirt devil power stick so I'm able to take off the bottom half and use it as like a section here or I can use the bottom to vacuum everything up so I just swept behind everything just to make sure I was getting as much dirt as possible and just kind of do a little bit deeper of a cleanse than what I did in my previous vlog because like I said I had a really bad week 
and I want to feel fresh and clean when I walk into my space. So I'm going to vacuum. That's what you guys are going to watch me do next. Um, now that I've thoroughly swept my entire room and moving the dresser around and stuff. Um, and then once I do that, I'm going to wipe down my dressers. And then after I do that, I'll be swiffering. So that's what it's looking like right now. Um, just vacuuming up the space. Then... Um, Wiping off the counters of my table so that, you know, I can get rid of any excessive dirt on top of there. And then swiffering last just because, I like, like, with the wet things, it just picks up everything the way it should. Uh, right now I have my bed sheets drying, so I'm going to put my bed sheets on shortly after all of this is done. And you also saw me put my main rug away in the meantime. It was already vacuumed yesterday, which I didn't film. But I vacuumed the main rug, and I just wanted to make sure I was getting underneath the rug as well, although it's going to go back on the floor. Just because it makes me feel better that the entire floor is clean versus just, like, the areas around it. So, yeah. See you guys in one second. <laughs>
so I'm gonna give you a little look of my room now that it's all cleaned and ready to go I feel so much better my space just feels good first let me start off saying once I finished cleaning my room I made sure to open up all my windows and I did sage um, the remaining area of my room and let's take a look so I spruced this up a bit I put my Polaroid camera there and I fixed up all the clips that were down there so it wouldn't look so messy. I made sure that my dresser was nice and clean um, and I just organized my essentials here and then my go-to perfumes and stuff there along with my David head and my plants. My desk space is all clean and ready to go. I wiped it down a bit. That's something I didn't really show you guys because I showed it in the last vlog. Um, my trash cans there and then I just have my essentials by my nightstand as I mentioned before I am on my menstrual cycle right now so I have some Aleve there a candle at night that I like to light right before I go to bed some Kleenex tissues for my allergies um, and then my speaker so I can listen to music and then this is just a little journal and then for my bed you guys saw me put my duvet cover and stuff on which is this tan color right here um but i like to have like a top sheet in case i get a little cold at night when i put my ac on and one that i can just relax on top of not that i can't do that on my duvet cover but i just feel like it's nice like if i want to come home after a long day and just sit on my bed i don't want to sit direct sit directly on like my cleanest cleanest blanket but i did wash this as well and um it is dried two times over and it still manages to have a little bit of a damp spot there and then moving on to this section, I didn't really do anything here. This is just where my mirror is. Um, and then my plant, um, nothing changed there. My closet's here and maybe I'll do a closet tour for you guys. I'm not really gonna go in there right now, but it's pretty organized already. And then just my towel, I just finished taking a shower and all of my little go-to um, like throw-ons if I'm gonna head out around the town or if I'm gonna head outside real quick. So. And then lastly, you saw that I put my rug back down after it was vacuumed and after I cleaned the floor on, all underneath it. So my floors are squeaky clean and my room just feels so good. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this like cleanse with me room edition, I guess we could call it. I think it's very important, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, to cleanse your space as frequently as you can. Or especially when you're feeling like your energy's off or something's just not right. I think it's nice to sage your room and just reorganize yourself in your the real world in the, the, the reorganize yourself in the real world. I can't say real. I think it's really important to reorganize yourself in the real world um, just so that your thoughts match up with like your reality and just to stay positive I know that it can get rough and like me as I mentioned before I had a really rough week this week it's Friday though and I am ready to put my game face on and just relax and also have some fun so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one bye